Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Shah. I'm a branding and website designer based in the UK. So today I'm gonna to be talking all about website trends and a few of the ones that I keep seeing popping up over the past year. And a lot of these my clients have requested for as well more recently. And I feel like in general, interactive elements and animations are becoming way more popular and the kind of standard when it comes to website design. In general, people have less of an attention span and I just feel like capturing people's attentions is a lot harder than it used to be on a website so instead of having a static page that you just scroll through that can seem very boring it's quite important now to add some sort of elements that makes them want to stay on the page and keep scrolling so I'm going to be sharing some of those with you and the ones that I'm going to be talking about are simple yet effective and something that you can easily start implementing in your own web design straight away also I'm so excited to be partnering with a new platform that's being launched by Wix called Wix Studio and I'm going to be showing you how I recreate these animations and website trends on the Wix Studio platform. And if you're wondering, Wix Studios is a platform that is meant for agencies and freelancers as long as you're working with clients. I feel like this will be really beneficial for you. It makes it so easy to collaborate with your clients and it has everything you need to bring your web designs to life. It also makes it so easy to create really fun and interactive elements. You don't need to know any code, which if you're someone like me that doesn't particularly like to code is a huge bonus. But if you are into coding, you are able to add any of your own code to Wix Studio, which makes it so versatile and you can take it that one step further with your animations and customizations within the platform. So it is basically for everyone. So without further ado, let's get into some of my favorite website trends. So the first one I am going to be talking about is sticky scroll. So this is utilizing position sticky. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'm gonna share a few examples. Basically the gist of it is you can stick an element to an area of the screen or an area within a section so that when you scroll, it either sticks to the top or the bottom of the page and you can create some really cool different effects with that. So I'm just gonna share a few of my favorite ones. So this is the first example. And as you can see, as I scroll, which I'm gonna start scrolling now, these cards you see stick to the top of the page and then the next one comes in. So it creates this really cool sort of overlapping effect. And then on the left, you'll see the text here stuck to the top of the page while the right side is scrolling. I'll also show you quickly what I've done with a client of mine recently. So this is also utilizing the sticky um, positioning. So if you can see the picture here will stay put and then as I scroll, the text will slide and I've made it change different picture as the new text paragraph comes in. So this is another way that we can incorporate it into the website design. This is an e-com site. So another example is once this section here reaches the top, we can see that the images start to scroll through. So yeah, I hope you get the idea of how this looks and the different ways that you can utilize it. But now I'm gonna show you how you can do this yourself within Wix Studio. Okay, so we are in the Wix Studio backend and I've set up quickly the header image just because I wanna make it look all pretty. So what I'm gonna do is actually a variation of kind of like a card scroll. So basically when a card scrolls up, it gets stuck at the top and then another scroll will kind of overlap and create like a tab effect, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go in and start creating some containers within the website. So I am gonna start by using this section and I'm going to the left-hand side where it says add element. I'm gonna grab a container and let's go with a rounded shape. change the color of this. I'm going to make this one this beige color. I'm going to add in an image. This one can be for toweling. I wish I I might round the edges of this one just because I want it to match the card that it's in. So let's go to corners and I'm going to just make this 25. Okay, amazing. And I'm gonna just add some text in here and I will come back once I've made this little card look pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop this for a second because I wanna butt in and say 
how cool this feature is. It allows you to create AI text for a section. So generally with my website clients, I just use lorem ipsum, but I think it makes it that even more cooler if you create copy that is meant for the type of site you're building. I'm going to use this create AI text feature and just type in what the business type is. So I'm going to say this is a furniture store. What is your business name? Alu. Text type, paragraph. What is the topic of this text about? Product description. Enter product name. Toweling. What is important to mention? And let's see what text it creates. And look, it, like literally in five seconds, it's created these different options, three different options for me to copy over. So if I just press use text, let's go with this one. It just puts it in there for you. Like how cool and easy is that? Okay, so we've created our first little card and that was so easy. I just feel like the drag and drop feature of Wix Studio is just so fun and easy to use. So that is done. I'm just gonna move this to the side a little bit. Okay, amazing. And so what I'm gonna do now is create three of these um, little tabs that I am then gonna use the sticky scroll feature on. So I'm gonna create these and then I will come back to you and show you how you can use the sticky scroll animation. Okay, so we've created those three different cards and now I'm gonna show you how we can go about creating the sticky positioning. So what I'm gonna do is click on the first container, which is the toweling one. And then I am going to go onto the right side under design tab. And I'm gonna go into position sticky and make sure it's sticking to the top. And let's have the offset as about 5%. Um, so we can view this and see how this is gonna look. Perfect, so as you can see, when it hits the top, it is staying put, but we need to do the bottom ones now. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat that step onto the other ones. So this one's gonna go to sticky, make sure it's set to top, and we're gonna offset this as 10% because we wanna make that layered effect. If you wanted to have them stacked directly on top of each other, we'd just keep it as zero or keep it as all the same offset. But because you wanna create that layering effect, I'm gonna do this at 10. And we're gonna do, that is 15 because we did the last one as 10. And let's see how that looks now. Scroll down. There we go. And we could take this a step further and animate each um, individual tab and like animate these. Actually, I'm gonna show you quickly how it will look if I do that. So let's say we wanna animate the image as it comes in. I'm gonna go into the interactions panel and let's do an entrance animation. So when it enters, reveal, that's cool. And I'm gonna do it on all of them actually. And let's see how that looks. So you can see it's animated in, that one's animated in, and so has the last one. So I think that looks really cool. It just adds a little bit of something different, which I love. So the next website trend I've seen is a hover effect. So when you hover over a link, it will show up a picture on the side or wherever you want to place it. it could be used as like a cursor image but I've seen this quite a lot in terms of menus I think it looks really cool but also just as a section if you want to you know do something fun for different collections within an e-com site it's a really fun cool way to display that so I'm going to show you a few examples on my computer so this is an example of like a menu section so when you hover over it shows a picture and this one's really cool because it moves with the mouse. So when you hover over the different menu items, you see a different picture. This is for an e-com brand. So if you hover over a different collection, it just comes up with a different picture. And then the last example is on a site called Kinful. Um, and this is how they display their projects. So they've got their projects all in a list form, um, which seems pretty plain, but then when you hover over, 
they've got a really cool either like video or an image of that client work. Okay, so those were all of the examples for the hover animation. I'm now gonna go into Wix Studio and show you how I make my own version of that in the platform. So I'm gonna create a new section and to do that, all I need to do is scroll to the bottom and you can see this little blue plus and I'm just gonna click on that to add a section. And let's make this section color beige. I'm going to add some text in there. So let's drag that over. There's no dress shirt in my dresser. And then I'm just going to make sure these are evenly spaced out. Okay. Oh, looks good. Make sure they're all centered. Okay. Amazing. And now I'm going to add in the imagery. So for toweling, I'm going to add in this picture. I'm going to make it slightly smaller. I'm going to make this go behind, arrange it, send it to back. And let's make the shapes a little bit fun. So maybe I'll unlink this and we can curve one of the corners much. Okay, so we can curve that corner there. So let's grab this. And then for decor, I'm going to keep that one as is and then we can do something fun with decor. I'm going to add in this picture. In my dresser, so, so now what I'm going to do is add the hover animation. So what I want to do is select the text and then I'm going to go to the animation or interactions tab and I'm going to set a hover animation. So I'm going to click on this. And then on hover start animation, we want to make the animated element the image. So we are going to go on to this, choose on canvas, and I'm going to choose this one here. And we want to make it fade in. So it's going to add this like transparency background, which means that when you first go on the site, it's not going to show. It's only going to show when you hover. And then I'm also going to add a hover animation for the text itself and I just want to make it change color so there should be a color tab here adjust animation because I want to make the fill color white on hover and we can see the animation here and so as I hover over you can see the picture and also changes color so I'm just going to add that to the rest okay so now you can see I've just hit preview and there are no images showing up but when you hover over them you'll see that the image shows up and the text color changes as well. So I think that just gives it a really cool, fun little effect. And also you can just add links um, to the text itself. So this can link off to a whole collection. So the last website trend, trend number three, is scroll trigger animations. And all this basically is, is that when you scroll through the website, it will trigger an animation to start. So it's only controlled by the user scrolling up and down on the page. And there are so many different ways that you can incorporate this into your website. I have done it in a few different ways. I will share with you. Um, what I've done with some client websites. So this example is for an artist and when I'm scrolling there's this kind of black border that's scrolling across the page and it makes the text change color and it also makes the um, photos change as well and you'll see there's a button that appears as well. So that's just a really fun kind of graphic way to include something different. Another thing that you can do is incorporate some sort of shape to animate as you scroll, which is really cool. So this one here is a um, image and as you scroll, it kind of opens up to go full screen, which is really fun. Lastly, this is another form of text kind of animation as you scroll. When I scroll down, it changes um, direction of the text. And when I scroll up, it changes direction again. So this is quite a fun way to incorporate some movement in there as you scroll as well. But those are all of my examples for scroll animations. I'm gonna jump into Quick Studio again and show you how I create a really simple but effective text animation as you scroll. So let's get straight into it. So what I'm gonna do is create a new section. So just hit this plus icon. I'm gonna do it in between these two sections as well. Um, so I'm gonna make this slightly smaller. So let's say 150 pixels. And I'm gonna make this section actually have a background of a 
uh, image. So let's select one that I have uploaded already. Let's do this one. So I'm just going to start by grabbing some text. So let's go to the text section. Let's grab this. I'm going to change it to, let's do 20 for now and we'll make the color white. And we'll do to love you. make sure there's enough text to kind of scroll across the whole section um, and once we've got that obviously we don't want it to go and overlay underneath each other so I'm going to change the responsive behavior from scale proportionally to hug and that just creates one long line of text actually I'm going to duplicate this okay so once I've got both of those I'm now going to make the text size a little bit bigger actually so yeah let's do 35 and I'll do 35 for this one as well And make sure that one's set to hug too. Okay, amazing. And I'm going to select both of these, stack them, and just make sure they're centered on the page or on the section, I should say. I've got the text there. It's not going to be doing anything. It's just going to be static. So to add the animation, what I'm going to do is select on the first one, so furniture, and I'm going to head over to the interactions tab. And we're gonna add a scroll animation now. So I'm gonna hit scroll and we're gonna make this move. So you wanna move it to the left. So I'm gonna go on to adjust animation and we're going to make it scroll 90 degrees if you wanna go to the left. And we wanna make this from zero to 100. And that should now work. So yeah, we've got the preview on and as we scroll, we can see it moving. So I'm gonna do the same for the bottom one, but make it go in the opposite direction. Click on the textiles text, and then I'm gonna add the interaction, scroll, add, and then move. And then we're gonna adjust the animation and this will be opposite. So this will be now 270 rather than 90. I'm gonna make this set to 100 as well. So let's just see that's working, perfect. So if we preview that, we can see it moving as we scroll, which is really cool. So yeah, that is basically some of my favorite website trends all done in Wix Studio. Let's have a look through all of them again. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you found these little tips useful. And from this video, you can probably see how easy and effective Wix Studio is. So if you wanna go and check that out, definitely go to the link in my bio and you can see what it's all about. And I would love to hear your feedback and your thoughts on it. If you have any other kind of website trends that you've seen recently that you love, please leave those down below as well. There are so many, but I feel like these are a few of my favorite ones that keep popping up. Um, and I wanted to share them with you and show you how you can do them yourself. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video.